What up, Saiyans? So first off, I just want to apologize for the lack of consistency on this channel. Uh, it's kind of like what I talked about before in future videos, and it's because of the Buddha Broly series. I'm not exactly sure how I want to put it up, um, the editing process of it, and yeah, what I'm leaning towards is kind of just leaving it raw for you guys, but it's very long, and just throwing it up on this channel. You guys can just enjoy. Um, I really like working out with Gino. I think we have some good banter going on. He's a real intelligent guy as well. And I don't know, I think it could be entertaining um, and also a good learning experience. However, like I said, the videos are probably gonna be in the f upwards of 40 plus minutes. So yeah, just drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about that. Should I just try and cut it down? Um, however, the editing process obviously is gonna take a little bit longer and I'm not gonna be able to put it up as soon as I can. Not with like these videos where I'm literally doing no editing, I'm just piecing everything together. So yeah, to be honest, you know the saying, when it rains, it pours. I used to hate that saying because I thought it was so negative, but it's like so damn true. <laughs> like when one thing bad, when something bad happens, then it's another thing, then another thing, and another thing, and it just feels like life is just smacking you down and to be honest that's how i've been kind of feeling the past couple of days and it's all good because that is life um something that helps me whenever i'm feeling down is just focusing on i mean you always get whatever you focus on right and just focusing and just being thankful. I th notice if I can get my mindset in that thankful mindset, that grateful mindset, like I'm grateful to have a roof over my head. I'm grateful to have you guys here watching me, you know? I know the channel isn't the biggest, doesn't get the be most engagement, but I'm just thankful that you're here watching. Uh, thankful for boba tea protein. Like, oh my God, this peach flavor. It makes me excited to work out. Like this is honestly, if you guys like peach, this is the best tasting pre-workout I've ever had. And I love peach. This is coming from someone that loves peach. Like, I need, yeah. This thing is amazing. This launch is, I don't know when this video is coming up. It might come up soon. But yeah, this is launching Saturday. And ugh, I'm super excited about that. I actually think I'm going to mix it with some non-stim yuzu though. Because yuzu just... No, no, it just mixes well with a lot of fruits. It just mixes well. Like someone's gonna take that recipe and start a smoothie company and just like mix things with yuzu and they're gonna kill. Cause yuzu, yeah. Yuzu by itself, it's pretty mid. Hundred, just being honest with you guys. For me and my palate. But yuzu mixed with lychee, yuzu mixed with um, peach, yuzu mixed with other fruit flavors, I'm assuming is gonna be amazing. So anyways, yeah, that's just my mindset I've been at. I've been kind of like, not like, it's not like the end of the world kind of thing, but yeah, like everyone goes through it. I know in my videos, I don't like to share a lot of like the negativity. Like I want you guys to feel positive and uplifted, but this is just me just being realistic about life and what's going on just because on this channel, I don't know, I just rant a lot and I express my feelings and how I'm feeling, not just, lifting wise but just life wise but yeah that's something that just yeah just getting into the mindset of gratitude because there's always something to be thankful no matter how bad life is getting you know you could be going through a divorce you could you know could have got to a fight with your girlfriend your wife whatever like someone might have passed away like no matter how bad life is, there's always something to be thankful for you know like i'm thankful for you know my beautiful girlfriend on the other side of the room um, that's so supportive and helpful. Um, that watched a comedy this morning while I slept in because <clears throat> we ended up sleeping real late last night. But anyways, yeah, I'm thankful for Akame being healthy, happy, and just full of energy and mischief. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But just full of energy and just exploring the world now. You know, she's very mobile, so she's touching like anything, everything. And yeah, we just feel like we can't take our eyes off her for like a second or else yeah which is why we try to baby proof everything as much as possible but it's our first so it's just a learning experience you know I'm thankful for you know the baby in a healthy baby in 
Sandra's stomach. Thank you for our casa coming out. Oh, too soon. <laughs> Thank you for my health. And just life in general. Thank you for this hyperbolic time chamber, to be honest, too. And a place where I can deload my mind, de-stress, get away from all the negativity in life, where it's just me, I guess the camera now, and the weights, and a place where I can just ascend, push my body, and yeah. And also, um, the cut's going to be starting soon as well. I honestly haven't been talking about my cut on this channel, and the reason being is because it hasn't been going anywhere. Um, ever since Japan, kind of just been getting in the flow of just lifting again just as I told you guys haven't li in Japan I didn't lift for like two weeks so I just wanted to get back in it get back in the groove however I have been staying active we've been getting outside that kind of thing that's also something that helps when I'm feeling down is just get going outside keeping yourself busy like idle time is evil time the more you stay at home the more you think about it the more you're gonna suffer get outside and call your friends go hang out go to the mall go to the beach whatever it may be um, go grab a bite with someone. Just get out. Get out. Get your mind off of it. And as it, like anything else, it will pass. It will pass. And no, this isn't a lecture or anything. I'm just telling you guys from my personal experience. And get this peach flavor. I don't know a lot of people that don't like peach. But, oh my god. Hands down, hands down, favorite pre-workout flavor mixed with my favorite pre-workout concoction, the high stim pre-workout. Ah, oh, so good. And I just like how they designed it too. Like this is sick. This is a nice pink. There's like a hot pink or something. I don't know. But yeah, apparently it's made with real Asian peach too. So and that's the cool thing about boba tea protein too, and that's why their prices are a little on the higher end is because they use real, real ingredients. Like this is made with real Viet coffee. People tell me all the time it tastes like real legit Vietnamese coffee. I don't really drink that, but I like it. You know, this is real peach, real matcha, real, well that's another matcha. But anyways... Body's feeling good, relatively good. Legs still a little bit sore because I had to adjust my lifting schedule and hit legs a day earlier, so I feel like they didn't fully recover. But anyways, today's not a leg day. Today's an upper body day. Uh, I don't even know. I think it's like a chest and back day. Got a post on my Instagram, which I still didn't. I totally forgot. And F all the negativity because we're here to ascend. Let's fucking go. Okay, so first exercise is supposed to be a Smith, a pod Smith press. However, I don't have a Smith machine. And also, barbell benching, as much as I want to bring it back into my workouts, it just hasn't been feeling good on my shoulders. And I feel like if I push it, it's just. Yeah, it's just not an exercise I, I'm comfortable pushing right now. So instead, I'm going to do pause incline dumbbell press with on a low incline. So on the one and a half reps, I usually do a higher incline because of the retraction aspect. Um, this one I'm doing on a lower incline um, just to change up the angle as well. So... This will be following tempo, and I'm losing circulation in my wrists already. But yeah, just following a tempo, following the tempo, doing a three count pause at the bottom, explode up at the bottom of the rep. I am like kind of dipping my thumbs down and the inner part of the dumbbell down into my pecs just to get that extra stretch at the bottom. I'm only doing it slightly because if I do it too much, then you actually lose um, some tightness as well. So that's something to watch out about. Just do it slightly enough where you just feel just that extra stretch in your pecs at the bottom and just explode out of that hole. But 
we're gonna start with 80s and yeah work our way from there so we'll see what we can get today we already did our acclimation set so this is the final set and take it to failure actually i want to chalk up to i always forget i have this thing but yeah grip makes a huge difference huge I mean, obviously it depends on where you're at, but in Hawaii, it's pretty humid all the time. So uh, I would recommend some chalk. And I don't know why I went this way, but it's okay. Oh, farm's getting funky too. Whew, okay. Honestly, after the fact, I might have been able to squeak out one last grinder rep. Ugh. So if anything, that was like a one rep in reserve. However, chalk made a huge difference, especially on pause reps. Yes, pause reps do work. A lot of your forearms as well. Um, just cause you're, especially on dumbbells, because you have to hold it for so long. It's why I kind of do pause dumbbells or it's not a movement that I add into every meso. And if I do add pauses, it's more on more, it's on more stable exercises, like on a barbell or even a Smith. However, I don't mind the extra forearm gains. Forearms is something that I definitely want to bring up as I've talked about before. Get some big ass Baki forearms. So, 10, it's fine, I can beat that. Probably go up to 90s or try to go for 11 or 12 next time. But chest is pumped, shoulder feels good. Let's keep it going. Okay, next exercise is lying cable ladder raises. You guys already know this is the GOAT for cable ladder raises, at least for now, until I figure out something else. But that might not be for a while, we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, got 30 pounds on this, nothing crazy heavy. Again, this is one that you're gonna take your time with, probably use, go into the higher rep, rep ranges in, but we're just gonna burn it out. Ugh. <sighs> 
<sighs> Honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the tenth one. You could hear the things clanking. <laughs> I was shaking so much. But whew, that burn and pump. <sighs> Next level. And honestly, I haven't, as I mentioned, I think I talked about this in my previous video. I haven't really exper experimented too much with lying exercises. But when you think about stability, there's really, you can't really get more stable than that lying on something. So it's definitely something I'm going to play with. As I mentioned as well, face pose on this is, would be a goat as well. Gonna definitely experiment with that as well. And just different lying exercises just to help isolate and bring that stability aspect. Okay, unilateral tricep extensions next with the cuff. Again, don't angle your hand straight vertical, straight up and down. Slight turn just to help engage kind of like at a close to a 45 degree angle and I'm focusing on driving my palm down and out so not straight down but kind of in that same angle in that same close to 45 degree angle right there what you want to do is you want to make sure you're engaging that long head at the bottom Honestly, a lot better than I thought. Holy smokes. Okay, 12 on the left. Let's match it on the right. <clears throat> On the left, on the right. Okay, next. My new favorite way to re do reverse pec deck or hit the rear delts in general, which is the cable incline, I don't know, reverse fly, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> I don't know, I just made it up last workout. Um, shout out to Trevor, I know he loved it former client and in the hyperbaric time chamber but dude I don't know what I was doing I was obviously warming up with two different weights which I just noticed <laughs> oh well but anyways yeah this feels amazing this feels even better than the reverse pec deck in my opinion just because you have kind of like a free range of motion the pec deck you're kind of just stuck to like in and out the the way to change the i guess the angle of it would be just to slide your body up and down except you can't do that when you're on the machine um once you're once you're fully in 
So at least with this, you can kind of adjust and go to the direct angle of your rear delts and keep it in line with those pec fibers just to get maximum hypertrophy. So, uh, clearly we warmed up and did my acclimation with the wrong weight, but we're gonna keep, go heavier anyways and try this out. Looking back, I think my setup was a little off. I should have rewatched my video. Um, but I think I could have inclined the bench one higher and pulled it out a few inches back. And then it would have been perfect. I had a little too much forward lean than I'd like, but still felt great. So yeah, you guys kind of want to try and play around with the angle and stuff. I think it feels like right here would have been yeah, it would have been a lot better. And then the cables would have fell someplace back here. And yeah. Yeah, so put your incline a little bit higher. I don't know why I did it like that. But still felt good. Rear delts still feel pumped. Got only a solid six reps, I guess. But can still improve on that. Let's finish up. And the last exercise is deficit push-ups. So I'm doing these on a slight incline. What I'm focusing on is one, keeping my back neutral the entire time. So I'm squeezing my glutes, keeping my abs and core tight. I'm not losing tension at all. Two is focusing on driving my nose to the ground. I'm trying to get that deep stretch, but not only that deep stretch is going down, but that deep stretch on my chest. And I notice for me, especially on this incline, because I wanna keep that angle, I'm focusing on driving my nose to the ground, not like my chin or my chest to the ground. Reason being is if I focus driving my chest to the ground, then I'm gonna lo probably lose some tension in my lower back and abs. So yeah, it just puts more pressure there. So we're just doing body weight. We're gonna get to a point where I might need to start adding weight. Maybe I'll have Sandra put a plate on my back. Maybe I'll let Akame ride on my back. Probably not, but <laughs> we're just gonna wrap this out. So again, focusing on that stretch. Ooh. <sighs> So for this exercise, we're not doing partials. If you are gonna do them, do them very safely or I honestly just don't do them at all. Don't do partials on this. Um, that's actually how I strained my shoulder like months ago. Just kind of do it. Um, 
doing the partials not in control. And I think that's the part where, I mean, it depends on what exercise you're doing, but partial reps on something like this need to always be in control, meaning you're controlling it and doing it slowly. If you're just bouncing it, that's a recipe for disaster and chances are, or you have a good chance of injuring yourself. So, yeah, but whew, honestly, I thought I was gonna get more than that. Once you slow things down, once you focus on that stretch at the bottom, uh, yeah. And obviously your abs, obliques, your core is all secondary muscles. So it feels great just to get that isometric work with them as well. And crazy chest pump I got right now. Like that stretch is unparalleled. It's hard to replicate a stretch like that on any other chest exercise or machine. So feels great. So I added it. I do, I do like a lot of body weight stuff and that's something I'm gonna add. Hint, hint, for the ascension phase, something I'm planning to do is add some body weight things as burnouts towards the end. But you guys will have to stay tuned and see. Cause yeah, we still got a bunch of KO can phases to ascend through and yeah, just enjoy the journey. Like, that's the number one tip I can give everyone is learn to enjoy the journey. Take it day by day. We're in no rush. We're in this for life. And we're going to continue to ascend. So thanks for watching. Don't be after. Don't skip your workout. Stay consistent. See you in the next one.